Yes, I want four kids. Every model wants four kids. I want four kids. Too many, man. Yeah, yeah. Kids. It's Everyone not has said four. Many. It's not that. I think for me it will just be three. Aren't you afraid that you're, you're going to lose your figure if you have so many kids? At the end of the day, when you come, become a mother, you just have to accept the fact that you, your body is going to change. Mm. Your body's not going to stay the same for the rest of your life. Mm. You're going to get old. You're going to mm. get saggy. Your boobs are going to get saggy. Being a model is, I can say, you just have certain lifespan for it. Allons manger. Va laisser la Méditerranée. I hate this part. Come in, come in. Good ah, damn. Hi guys, welcome to another video. We're here with Model. Maxine Kluta. And Model. Ortega. And today we're gonna ask this beautiful Namibian model some questions. So we're talking about women and men. Um, the Tinder swindler, have you seen it? Yes, I have. And what is your opinion about it? I think the women should be more wiser. Okay. And don't trust men too easily and too quickly. Yeah because then you get manipulated and then you fall head over heels and love makes you But what was, wasn't these girls like in love with the money, the lifestyle, Absolutely. and not yeah. really the guy? Because the they started interacting with him after yeah. they saw his lifestyle. Because there were a lot of guys there, like ordinary guys, which yeah. they didn't even swipe right. and started texting with. They just yeah, picked that guy. Yeah, that's the thing. Some women are gold diggers mm -hmm. and they want to go after the men's money and they want that lavish <laughs> lifestyle. So maybe it was deserved. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, it was karma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a and way, it, they learned their lesson. You understand what I mean? At the end of the yeah. day. And it got so much hype. There were so many reactions. But do you think the reactions would have been the same if it was a girl that had done it to a guy? No, I don't think so. Everybody could have just turned the blind eye and be like, oh, it's yes. fine, it's women. <laughs> yeah, that's provide. the society we live in. Yeah. So it's different with us. Yeah. But I think Unfortunately, it's a Yeah, I do. It's also, good. I think But I, think I actually thought crazy. about this. I wondered, what if I try doing this? Will I even succeed? Because, yeah, I mean, you I give think me you money, could, yeah. I spend it with another I girl. She gives but me I don't money, have the heart to do you. it. And I don't have the guts to do it. I'm not that smart to play my game in that way. Would you say that you have ever made the first move on a guy? No, I haven't. Why don't you? Just because I'm afraid of rejection. I mean, everybody is. I, I mean, will make my move, but I won't go in first or make it obvious. Now you could just get his number that's making the first move also. No, why can't you ask my number? Why should I ask your number? But you are the one that's interested first. Like exactly. He's no, hot. but I don't, want the guy. I don't want the guy to know I'm interested. You should just know that I'm interested and decide now. Let me DM her. Let me slide into the DM. So I should just shot. know. Like, yeah. <laughs> super I don't know. No. <laughs> the thing is, just observe the vibes and the yeah. energy. Now we're talking a little bit about sexual assault. What, what is, how do you deem sexual assault? Is it touching you here on the arm or where is, where is like no? Where the thing is, I don't like being touched or a touchy, touchy guy. Mm. When, we, when we are like in talking in the talking stages or when we are together, that's another story. Mm. But a random stranger touching me, mm. especially in clubs, mm. I feel that's harassment mm. because you're touching me while I don't want to be touched. Mm. Or when you want to move me out of the way, touching me in inappropriate places like my bum or my boobs. Jesus. Or doing weird things. Has it, just anyone ever friends. like tried to do that? Yes, they have. Oh. It happens a lot in clubs. It actually does, because sometimes people are drunk and then they lose control. And it's also full, so when you're trying yeah, to make Yeah, so then they're trying through. to make way, and they do it, sometimes they do it unnecessarily, mm. while it's not needed. Mm. Um, do you feel safe in Namibia? I when do, but not all the time. Okay, why? Because there's a lot of dangerous things happening in Namibia, mm. like mm. crimes, murders, car accidents. Mm. So it's, every place has its positive and negative sides, I mm -hmm, think. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever had a person or have you ever been in a situation where you were close to or maybe got No, no unfortunately. 
Mm. Not. And I'm lucky yeah, to yeah, not yeah. have been in such and such But you've heard that people yeah. around has gotten... Yes. Uh, how is that living with that fear, you know, that you might, constantly it might happen? You have to protect yourself. Yeah, the fact that you constantly have to protect yourself can be difficult sometimes because sometimes you forget that such things actually happen mm. around you and in society. So mm. you're not aware of your environments that much. But, but when that idea kicks in again, or when you hear the topic again, or when you hear another headline in the newspaper, eight year old, eight year old. Jesus. There's a lot of things happening. Even one-year-olds get in our country. One-year-olds? Yes, by their own crazy. family members. That's why you can't even trust your family around you. Your so own father who, cannot help you. Who, who usually does the thing? Is, the, is it the people closest to you or is it just like you go out and then you get like I think it's assaulted. the people closest to you because they observe your movements and they observe what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly when you see, even in the newspapers, it's mostly people close to you, your neighbor, mm. your uncle, your dad. So uh, what would you say, which part of your body do you like the most, do you think? I like my height. Mm. I like my tummy. Mm. I'm obsessed with my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, I'm obsessed with my boobs. Or yeah. your boyfriend's also obsessed with them? Obviously. I mean, look <laughs> at me. <laughs> Since they are big and they make it feel small, yeah, they look always maybe me. just... Who's yes. not going to be obsessed with me, Ortega? Yeah, it's a good question. Exactly. Oh. A Moving on to women. <laughs> contest. <laughs> women will be our downfall, you know? Yeah, exactly. I know, I know. Uh, moving on to controversial topics. Uh, if you got to pick between your mom and your dad, who would you pick? It's quite difficult to choose. But my dad passed away last year, July. Sorry to hear that. And my mom was the one raising me from a young age mm. with the help of my stepdad. Mm. He raised me since I was nine months. But because my mom was the one being there for me, I can basically say she was a single mom. Mm. I would obviously say my mom. Uh, do you know a lot of single moms? Like, yes, uh, are actually, a lot of I women actually, single? I actually do. Mm. But why do you think women are single nowadays? The thing is... is are their ha standards so high that they can't me. get The up? thing is, some men can't man up. They can't own. Okay, and what's manning up to you? When you, when you know, like, can I go deep? Take yeah, go. go so, for it. yeah, take your responsibility for your actions. You know that woman wasn't the only one lying down. You were with her. Mm -hmm. You guys had sex together. She was mm. not the only one. Mm. So why do you expect her to raise the baby alone? Mm. Why you know you were actually sleeping together and at the end of the day when she tells you, no, I'm pregnant, then you deny, no, it's not my baby, it's not what. Mm. And it's not cool. Mm. Because at the end of the day, most of the women are single. They have to raise that baby alone. They have to put a strain on their finances just to raise the baby because they always want, I think every mom wants the best for a child. Mm. But you could do without a man. Yes, we can. Mm. Because we are women, we are strong. We go through a lot of pain. It's true. It's true. Many empowerment right here. Hey! Like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. See you soon!